Just to get so much joy. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today is August 21st. This is day four of our high country mule deer hunt. And I'm doing the same thing I've done the last three days is head to my tree stand. Been hunting a buck down there. Really nice four point. He's really the only good buck that's come into the tree stand all summer long. So I'm kind of set on hunting just him for some reason. I'm starting to obsess over the whole situation i'm like 30 32 hours into the stand already so that's my game plan from what it sounded like last night brian and casey might just wake up this morning skip the hunt and head home because they're heading off to oregon soon to hunt roosevelt elk with the born and raised crew so i'm gonna stay home and keep at it on this hunt because my goal for the longest time has been to get a velvet buck and with any luck that'll happen this morning so stick with me i'll be in the stand um and god hopefully something will come in yesterday was pretty stormy so i think it held the deer down so far today's really nice no wind so hopefully he'll come in we'll get in the stand set up and uh I'm probably gonna hunt the morning hunt and then bail off the mountain so I can go charge batteries and kind of resupply everything. Anyways guys, welcome to today's video. Should be a good one.
because I'm super disappointed in myself. Buck uh, did what the other buck did a couple days ago. Came right down that path, and I knew he was at 35 yards when he stopped. I split my 30 and my 40 pin and, and touched it off, but it hit low and it hit right. I think I just barely grazed his leg. But, uh, he didn't react much, so I, I know he's not hurt that bad. I'm still gonna give him about an hour. I'm gonna get down and try to track his blood, see if I can't shoot him in his bed. Just need to give him some time to settle down, but... This is day four in the blind. Probably like hour number 35 or 36. And to screw up like that is... sucks really bad. can do now is hope that I can slip in there and find him, see him before he sees me. But uh, I don't think that's a lethal shot whatsoever. His body language after was just fine. It sucks. Always sucks to hit an animal and not feel confident about it. That was like my goal this year, just to take Take my time, make a perfect shot, and I've already freaking failed at it. Dang it. Oh, man. I'll, uh, when I get down, I'm just gonna have to spot and stalk. I'm not gonna try to film because if it happens, it's gonna happen fast. So I'll give you guys an update as soon as I get down. Well, if this isn't some bad luck, it wasn't easy to follow, and uh, it's been raining for the last five, ten minutes. I can't believe he went straight up this thing. He just had a little bit of a limp. He was kind of keeping that left leg up. And honestly, I don't know which way he went from here. Where I shot, it's not far down there. But, you just can't follow. The tracks and the blood was hard to find. It's easy to see in the shade. But out in the green stuff, it's starting to get washed up. Um, give it one last look before I head down. And before the storm hits really hard. Well. That sucks. Rain came in, I tried to do what I can to zigzag through those pines. All the brush was just soaking wet. Never did find any more blood. Watched the video a dozen times and it's clearly not hitting the chest cavity at all. It's, it just hit that opposite leg low. So again, Super, super disappointed in myself. I mean, it felt good. I'm gonna get down, go home, rest up, shoot my bow, but I'm definitely gonna stick to the tree stand. I'm also gonna bring up a couple more trail cameras because I'd like 
to uh, I'd like to see that buck on camera just to know that he's alive and there is a chance didn't get to look at him very long but there's a chance that that's the buck from last year that was hitting my trail camera which is crazy because either way I've never seen that buck this year but he's kind of got a similar frame to the big 3x4 that was on it last year so if that was him that's a bummer either way it's a bummer but I'll do my best to hold out and try to locate him and that other nice four point but I think some stealth cameras up in that zone will help it's crazy they're coming down that trail and dodging my trail camera and the salt that's the the two big bucks that have come in both went on the same trail which is kind of crazy very interesting too but that's it for now I'm gonna head home and get out of here and charge batteries and rest up walk of shame Well, that concludes our 2018 high country mule deer hunt for now. Down here on the Wasatch Front, you can hunt the extended season. If we have some time, we will definitely be back. November. I just want to show you guys this, the most clutchest move I've made in a while. Five days, no cold drinks. Does the Yeti work? Five days, in the back of my truck. Oh, ice cold Gatorades all around. Yes. That's the cat's meow. Maybe that isn't a loop one, but I do have a loop one. Like this. What do you guys think? We converted the jumping jack to a utility, put the Rambo bikes on, and they are ready to roll to Oregon, which is where we're headed next. Casey and Logan are taking off Thursday morning driving. I got a couple things to do, so I'm gonna meet them in Eugene via airplane. And then Friday, we're connecting with Kenton from First Light, one of the CEOs and founder, and all the dudes from Born and Raised to do Land of the Free 2.0. It's gonna be an awesome time. Casey's the lucky tag holder, and Kenton. So we're gonna have a blast, but I think we got to figure it out. Lots of tie downs, a lot, a lot of things happening here. I like it. Feel good about it. Do you guys feel good about it? You should. Well, well, what do you know? We're back in the valley. Welcome to Salt Lake City where it feels like a desert out here. And I've been freezing cold at my tree stand, but it is plenty warm down here. I'm gonna go get a workout. It's been a few days since I've been in camp, but I got Mountain Ops Yeti. I'm gonna go catch a lift and then I think I'm gonna go to dinner with my girlfriend tonight and then we're gonna go shoot our bows, make sure everything is on. You know, double checking everything. There's Bridget and her trailer. She brought it home to clean it. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sure uh, B Mac, Casey, and Logan are probably still on their drive home. But this is the day in the life down in the, the valley. I cannot believe how hot it is down here compared to up there. It's only like 30 minutes up the hill. It's supposed to be raining up there, which honestly I hope it rains near my tree stand. Just kind of knock down some, some of my scent and then kind of get a fresh start in a couple days. I think I might give it a rest tomorrow morning, but I'm still not sure because Jordan Harbertson from Mountain Ops. You guys know Jordan. Him and I are supposed to go up and hit it tomorrow and the next morning. We'll see if that happens. It's all weather dependent. That's why I left camp up. So camp's still very to rock and roll. Just need to figure out from Jordan what the plan is. It's not all dry. It's but it was like that. We have finally made it home. I say this a lot, but my favorite part of every trip is when I return home to my family. I have a small village of people <laughs> that I'm in charge of, me and my wife. But uh, Gage just got done with football. How'd it go? Good. What, first year playing tackle football, right? What position are you playing? So I'm usually playing linebacker, but they tried me a three back and um, guard. Did you rock the three back? This is my favorite part, getting home, being with my family. Like I said earlier, I'd only been gone three days and it was really hard. What do you want to say? Um, so did you doing this, I'm hoping that you don't want it. Yeah, for sure. What? 
Winston is currently eating Nutella snacks. So I've just been cleaning the truck out from this hunt. This is the worst part. Getting things unloaded and then getting things loaded for the next trip. That's what I've been doing since I've been home. Hanging out with the kids. We rode the Brambo bikes together, it was fun. We got the gear that is getting switched over from last trip to this trip. All the new camera gear we just got. We're running Sony's this year. Just ordered them, they just showed up. New mic, road mic. Audio's number one here. Got the uh, Hoyt Redworks, we got the canvas cutter. We, I've got some of Brian's stuff too. This is all Brian's stuff. Anyway, that's what we're doing. If you guys haven't been able to tell yet, we wanna show everything. We don't wanna just show the hunts. We don't wanna just show kill shots. We wanna show everything. This is our life, this is the hush life. This is how we live our lives. And that's how we're gonna bring it to you. We are as normal people as they come, with the exception that our job enables us to go out and spend a lot of time out in the woods. But a lot of time is spent here at home. And uh, we're gonna get ready to eat some dinner. My wife cooked some amazing pork chops, tenderloins, asparagus, and potatoes. Baby rock.